Well, class, you have completed multiplying binomials together and obtaining trinomials. Now we're going to look at a real-world application in which we're going to actually use the FOIL method in real day life. Now, I have on here on the board, I have two numbers, 96 times 92, okay? Now, we're going to be multiplying these together, so even though it looks like an eyesore already, let's just think of it this way. 96 is 4 away from 100, right? Let's write 4 off to the side. Now, 92 is 8 away from 100, correct? So now I'm going to put 8 here. So now I have another equation that looks simpler, 4 times 8, right? Now, what I'm going to be doing is, is I'm going to say 4 times 8, that's simple, 32, right? Now, I need to come back to this equation over here, and I need to say, hmm, wait a second. If I cross subtract 96 take away 8, or 92 take away 4, I get the same answer. 92 minus 4 is 88. 96 minus 8 is 88. So I can just write 88 off to the side here. Well, guess what? There's your answer. 88, 32. Bingo! Too easy? Or does it look, just look too simple? Well, let's do another one. What if I just change the numbers up a bit? Let's keep, let's keep it in the 90s. And let's do this one. Ninety-seven times ninety-one, okay? Ninety-seven is three away from a hundred. Ninety-one is nine away from a hundred. Three times nine is twenty-seven. 97 minus 9, or you can say 91 minus 3, it doesn't matter. You get 88 again. And that's it. 88, 27. Now, if you have numbers over 100, you add them instead. So I'm going to do an example really quick. You can experiment this on your own. Let's try 106 times 107. This number 106 is 6 above 100, right? So it's 6. This number here, 107, is 7 above 100. Multiply them together, I get 42. Cross add now, and we get 113. And there's your answer for that. 113.42. It's a pretty neat trick, but why does it work? See, this is where the foil comes in. Now, let's go back to that last problem that I had, where I had 96 times 92. 96 times 92, let's just put it back up here on the board. I can write it like this, but I can also write it sideways. Right? I can write it sideways. 96 times 92. I'm fine with that. Now, watch this. Does this look familiar? 100 minus 4 
and 100 minus a. You're right. It looks like what we did in the project. So let's go ahead and FOIL it out. 100 times 100 is 10,000. Negative 4 times 100 is negative 400. Now 100 times negative 8 will give me negative 800. Negative 4 times negative 8 is a positive 32. Let's bring this all the way back up here. I have 10,000. I want to put these two together. They both have a minus sign, so I just want to combine them together and I get 1,200. Plus 32. Now, if I did my math right, 10,000 minus 1,200 will give me 8,800. Plus 32. Put them together. And you get 8832 the same answer that we got before. So, when you have problems like this in future math homework and whatever, look at a trick like this and say, is there any way that I can try to do this in my head? Because I love doing stuff in my head. I know that most teachers, when they talk to you, they say, don't do it in your head. I don't like that idea. I like doing it in my head. It's faster. And the more you practice, the better you get good at it. So, I encourage you to make problems of these on your own. It gets a little bit tougher the more you go away from 100, as opposed to as you're closer to 100. So, you might want to practice some problems that are farther away from 100, like 122 times 112 or something like that, and try to work on those and drill yourself over and over and over. And eventually, you will get very good at this and you will become a math whiz.